What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we've got some Destiny 2 updates and a breakdown for the weekly reset this Tuesday, August 29th. And so, of course, we've got the first weekly reset for Season of the Witch. This brings new weekly challenges, a content refresh on the new seasonal activity and upgrades, and of course, we get the reprised Crota's End at the end of the week. So there's some pretty juicy stuff coming up. We'll also get the next addition to the exotic mission rotator with Vox Obscura and a new craftable exotic. And additionally, in the video, we'll cover the featured activities, playlist modes, featured rewards and raid challenges with everything worth knowing about what's happening in the game this week. And so, as always guys, I hope you find the video useful today. Be sure to get subscribed if you're new to the channel so I can keep you posted with more Destiny content, but otherwise, let's get into it. And so first things to talk about, of course, the new seasonal activities. We'll see a reset that includes Sabbath Inspire and the Altars of Summoning. And as far as we know, we should get new major arcana quests and cards become available. So there'll be a few more upgrades on the vendors, as well as a legendary version of Sabbath Inspire Inspire according to the weekly challenges. So looking at the challenges right here, we've got Acolytes Ascent 2 to complete week 2 of the Bladed Path quest, that's the story quest, and as always with seasonal content we'll get a few more steps for that. But additionally there is Luminary 1 to master the light by defeating combatants with Void, Arc or Solar damage, and we also need to identify minor arcana cards at the Lectern of Divination, of which we need to find 5, not sure if that'll be retroactive, but additionally we need to complete Sabbath and Spire on Legend difficulty, and then there is Wisps and Whispers to draw Whisper cards from the deck of Whispers in Sabbath and Spire or Altars of Summoning to earn powerful bonuses. And we unlock the deck of Whispers by identifying five major arcana cards at the Lectern of Divination. The other challenges for the week though include stunning 50 champions and to defeat guardians in Gambit or Crucible, of which we need 25, and then bank kill repeat to earn points by banking moats, defeating blockers and guardians in Gambit. So those are the main weekly challenges right there. Also on the subject of weekly beats though, we should get another audio log in the Veil containment at reset, so keep an eye out for that if you're interested in that story component. And of course later on in the week we're going to see the return of the Crota's End raid, so this will be launching at the daily reset set time on Friday, September 1st. And initially it'll go live with contest mode, which will be enabled for 48 hours, and Bungie have said we need to be at 1790 power to be at the cap for all encounters. And then clearing the raid with contest mode active is the first step to accessing the challenge mode in the director and the special superior swordplay triumph, which will unlock the challenges for each encounter. Of course completing all those challenges will enable a day one clear, and they say in terms of contest mode for the tuning, they've increased the cap of player outgoing damage versus combatants. But they say the incoming damage cap didn't change, plus some enemies will gain elemental shields, and all enemies will be more aggressive than in previous contest modes. So there'll be some interesting kind of sandbox adjustments for this contest mode. And of course it'll be interesting to see what changes Bungie have made to Crota's End. On top of that, we get all of the rewards for Crota's End. And the raid exotic Necrochasm appears to be returning as part of a quest, so obviously it'll still require raid completion, but otherwise there are some juicy legendary items in the raid, and I did make a full video breakdown of all of the rewards for Crota's End, so I'll link that in the description, and let us know down below if you plan to dive into the raid when it returns on Friday. Something else for the week though, in the Legends tab, we'll get an update to the exotic mission rotator. And so this week coming, Vox Obscura will be the featured mission, and so Dead Messenger will return as a craftable weapon. Plus there'll be a bunch of older seasonal weapons like Explosive Personality, Recurrent Impact, Under Your Skin, Sweet Sorrow, Thoughtless and Peace of Mind returning, as well as the Tusk to Legion armor set, so if you still need to add any of those items to collections it'll be a new opportunity to do so, and as always I'll keep you posted with that once we get it live in the game. On to other items for the week though, and for Vanguard, the featured Nightfall will be the heist battleground on the moon. As always, that one's a bunch of fun. In terms of what the featured weapon will be this week though, we have no idea, as it's a new Nightfall rotation, so we won't have a full idea of what those weapons will be until all of the Nightfall weeks have come up. Of course, it is possible that we'll get one of the new weapons for the season, the new Nightfall bow, or indeed the returning Warden's Law hand cannon. I'll keep you posted on that, but when it comes to the Crucible, Zone Control and Mayhem will be featured, and as always, Trials will return with the weekend at Friday's Daily Reset. But for the featured Raid and Dungeon activity this week, we'll get the Garden of Salvation on the Moon, as well as the Spire of the Watcher Dungeon, and as always, both of these will drop their unique items with updated power relevancy and pinnacle drops on completions. If you happen to jump into the Root of Nightmare, Nightmares this week though, we'll get the Cosmic Equilibrium challenge and so, Briar's Contempt will be the featured weapon drop. 
Plus, we'll see a vendor reset for the week, of course, but that'll include the Eververse store, and I'll have to keep you posted with all of these items at the daily refresh. So stay tuned for the vendor video on Tuesday. And for our final couple of activities right here, for Lost Sectors, we don't know the full rotation of all of the actual featured Lost Sectors, but we do know the reward rotation. So for the 29th of August, Tuesday, we will be getting exotic gauntlet drops that could be useful if you're still chasing any of the Season of the Witch exotics. But for the 30th of August, on Wednesday, we'll get exotic chess pieces. 31st of August, we'll see exotic helmets. And the 1st of September, we'll get exotic leg drops. Then for September 2nd, we'll get the Sepulture Lost Sector dropping gauntlets. September 3rd will be Extraction dropping exotic chess pieces. And finally, for the 4th of September, we'll get Metamorphosis dropping exotic helmets. But in Eternity, for the Dares of Eternity, we'll see Rotation 3 loot drops. So on top of the main featured rewards, we'll get additional drops of Scatterhorn Armor Set and Lightkin Armor Set. Plus there'll be a bunch of weapons from Season of the Splicer and some Forsaken World drops in there as well. And then very finally, if you are jumping into the Ascendant Challenge this week, it'll be the Shattered Ruins, which can be found via the Spine of Keres. So if you do want to find that one this week, we'll run some gameplay of the location at the end of the video. And otherwise, for today, guys, that is everything we have to round up in this one. So I'll be sure to keep you posted with the new content throughout the course of the week. Let us know what you're most excited to jump into this reset. And if the video has been useful, definitely get subscribed so I can keep you posted with more content. Otherwise though, as always, I appreciate you all tuning in today, and whatever you get up to, I hope you have an awesome week.